Hello, guys and gals, animal friends, and spirit pals. Welcome, welcome back to Spirit Whisper Channel Channel. My name's Mark. You can call me Spirit Whisper if you want to. I am a voice channel, channel for a spirit and a psychic animal whisperer. I channel teachers, three different teachers. One's called Pan, one's called Jesus, and one is called Dwal Cool. So there's that. I thought I'd come on tonight and let's do a little tarot tickling, won't we? Won't you? Won't you? Will you? Won't you join me? Okay. Just to keep the, you know, the energies a bubbling. Yes, I'm having my evening um, margarita in a can. They're called Cayman Jack, and they're very delicious. Eight o'clock here. Okay, so don't judge me. So I thought I'd go tiptoeing into August uh, for a couple of these um, people that we know and love. So let's look at how the energies for the old Oompa Loompa are going to be looking in August. So I think what I'm going to do is like pull three cards uh, for each week in Augusta. Okay. Um, and I might do a little, I'm going to do a little bit of trickery. <laughs> I think I'm going to shift decks with each week. We'll see if it does anything or not. If it's too horrible, <laughs> you'll never see this. <laughs> and I'll do something else. Okay, let's see. We'd like to see how the Oompa Loompa, you know who I mean, how that one's energy is going to be faring through the month of August. So we have the first week of August. You know, we're almost there. Time is a fleeting. I hear somebody out there mowing their yard. I'm sure it'll be loud as all. Get out. I'm not really turning them up. I'm laying them face side down, so will be surprised. Then we're going to look at the second week of August for are my cards the Oompa Loompa. Second week of August for the orange Oompa Loompa. We oh we oh How's everything going where you guys are? Is the weather good? Is the weather sucky? Is it hot? Is it humid? Is it raining? Is it dry? Just answer me telepathically and I'm sure I'll hear it. Okay, there's two weeks. Now let's do, what deck do I want to do? Yes, okay. Is it this one? Yeah, we're going to go with this one for week three. Numero tres. That's number three in Spanish. See, you learn stuff here. From a smart aleck. The dogs are pooped. I haven't fed them yet. Poor dogs. They're so punished. Look at them. How sad. They're both. Oh, there's another sad little dog. Very sad. Okay. Oompa. There's a card for the third week of August. The second week of August. I mean, the second. I'm doing three cards for each week. Oh, lousy. I need like an interpreter. 
three. There you go. There might even be five weeks in August. I don't know because it didn't look. But now we're on the fourth week and I switched up again. This may be a complete disaster. You guys will see it here first if I upload it. <laughs> uh -huh. I'm so funny! Da dum bum bum ba dum bum ba dum Okay, there's that. And then I'm just gonna cap off the whole month in general with this here deck. Oh, there's gonna be so much to read. Come on, come on, come on, spirit. Let's get it together here. We're talking about the tangerine nightmare. All righty. So, did it this direction. So let me start at the top. There's one, two, three. So the first week, I'm just going to go ahead and turn them all over and then we'll hit them week by week because I don't have enough room. Okay, there's those three and there's those three. And there's those three. Okay. Love it. Okay. All right. The first week. For this week, I used the Golden Girls Tarot. So... Six of Pentacles, as usual. They're focused on money, but they're, um, you know, beg, borrowing, and stealing. They'll do anything. They're desperate. Six of Pentacles. Would you please focus? Thank you. There's Blanche. They also get, this is the first week, so I did three cards just to kind of get a little, you know, energy going for the whole week. I just mentioned they bed beg, borrow, and steal, and they're stealing. I love this. You know, the Six Pinnacles can be charity too, but they're really just, what do you call it, fleecing the cult members, and really just stealing their money under false pretenses with lies and phony stories. So, there they are, making off, um, stealing. But also, we got swords here, so um, continuing to try to hide the truth. So they're spending some time, first week of uh, August, uh, saying, oops, um, some of this truth might slip out. We better stick it a little bit deeper. And the third card for the first week is death. I always get so many positive, lovely cards. Now this is right next to that hiding, sneaking, stealing card. Um, a little horse back there running. She's holding a head. I'm going to say this energy is about that um, quote unquote 
assassination attempt. But you know me, I'm not convinced. And I hope you guys have been watching. Um, FBI's like, mm, not so much a bullet hit him. Mm. And of course him hiding and doesn't want the doctor's reports because he's such a liar and of course he didn't get hit by a bullet. But I love she's holding the head there. I was a near miss. Got him in the head. But there's action in the background happening. There's more to come about this. I might look at it again at the end of this reading. I think there's more to come out. About it. It's like the darkest, you know. Like if it was a movie script, you go, they'd never believe that. We can't do that. You go, oh yeah, they will. So then week two, at the beginning, they're still looking. You know, this is the looking for your ship to come in, waiting for um, the results of your labors or studies or your work. <laughs> But, yeah, they're looking, but they're not, there's nothing to celebrate. You know, like you're looking for your ship to come in, uh, but, mm, it's, wow, I don't even see it. As a matter of fact, there's no water here. I'm on a desolated um, planet. And... Not only do I not see the ship, but I don't even see the water. And then, oops, I don't know, the women um, seem to be losing any love if they ever had any for us. So that certainly isn't coming. And then, so what do we do by the end of the week? We just do more fiery, racist, um, misogynist, homophobic rants to further destroy <laughs> anything that's left of the Republican Party. This card is so orangey. So a lot of times I do get this for the Oompa as the king because at this point, you know, he's, he's about burning everything down like America, incinerating it. So he'll be doing just more of that. Trash talk, the lies, the spewing, the burning, the attacking, puke. So that would be towards the end. And you know, that's sort of in retaliation because he's not getting any love. So then he attacks even more. We know this about him. So then we get to the third week. Let's see what this says. Okay. Third week. <laughs> okay. So I changed decks again. Oh, yeah. I wanted to tell you guys because I keep forgetting and then you get mad at me. That last deck with the King of Wands and these guys. It's a nice, beautiful red. We've talked about these before. It's called the Pulp Tarot. Comes in a gay little box like this. You know, it looks all beat up and stuff, but that's the way it comes, like it's old. And, um, and I do like them. I like reading on politics with them in particular. Uh, so that's that. That was that one. The first one was the Golden Girls. And now I'm using one that I completely told you guys a lie as to the name of it. I just made up something. It wasn't, it wasn't at all it. But this one is called Tarot Grand Lux by Ciro Marchetti. They're really beautiful. And I had these for a while, but I didn't use them. Like, you know, I looked through them and I went, oh yeah, they're not. But I didn't, wasn't it really kind of called to use them. But then this past Saturday, the day before Joe, um, you know, dropped out, I was really compelled to all of a sudden dig these out and use them. And so now I've been kind of using them ever since. 
but I think it has to do with Kamala's energy uh, with these cards. Anyway, uh, third week of August for the orange marmalade. So at the beginning of the third week, they're feeling marmalade him. He's feeling, so I guess after he's spewed and sparfed and burnt, he feels satisfied. You know, oh, I called them all kinds of names, and I made up new cute names for them, and uh, we really got at those single cat ladies. Look at there. You know, put them in their place, let them know that they have no right to vote. <laughs> We've showed them we're so satisfied. So in the beginning of the week, feeling like, oh, yeah, we'll just relax and stew in our juices because we've done so well over the weekend. So I imagine there's shenanigans and that has to do with lying and cheating and stealing. But then, as we move through the week, oops, who shows up? Queen of Cups. Here she is. I wish you could tell the beautiful blues in these a little better because they're very gorgeous, like kind of royal blue with, and it's a mixture of different blues, but it doesn't really catch on the camera. Um, but who's this raising her face? Queen of Cups. This will be Kamala um, with hints of a blue colored waterish wave like energy. Look, there's fish swimming around her. I know I, I started using these cards because they want to keep talking about this blue wave that <sighs> keep saying, Mark, don't be imagining it. Uh, but anyway, by the middle of the third week, uh, somebody with the initials KH rears her beautiful head into his life and brings along with it the Five of Swords. Hmm. Does, you know, I haven't read on if they do a debate, but it, would it be then? Oh no, all of a sudden I got debate energy because of these swords. But she comes at him with Swords of Truth, cutting Swords of Truth. It could just be the way you know, at rallies and stuff. But it could be a direct confrontation if he is secure and stupid enough to actually do a debate with her. Oh, Lord. And... Then the last week of August looks like Mr. Orange. Can't see, but this is the orange card. Bright orange, bright, bright orange. It's like jello orange. Has a target on his back. Um, there's a lot of You know, this card, it's orange at the top. There's like a lot of talk about how orange overshadowed, like COVID and just um, our mood and peace of mind uh, and how horrible that would be again. So there's a lot of specific targeting. I think he really feels, I feel he really attacked right now. He's gonna feel pretty attacked. <laughs> okay. Oh, I feel so sorry for him and his kind. So then I just pulled three like a general month. And this is what I get. Queen of Swords. Now, you know, we're going to be getting Queen of Swords quite a bit because, or Queen of Cups. I go back and forth. But she's also, you know, law and order. But she also represents, 
you know, love, blue, the blue side, the pro positive progression, you know, freedom for all, all that. So she'll go back and forth between cups and swords. Uh, but this is showing up because he's going to be getting the taste of the old sword part of the beautiful, talented, smart, sassy, funny, adorable laugher, Kamala Harris. He's also going to be re-examining this new partnership he has with um, B.J. Vance. Yes, I said B.J. Vance. And that may be That's not a match made in heaven. So that's kind of be an energy going through August. And then also trying every trick in the book. You know, pulling out the stops, trying every trick that he can imagine to cheat, lie, and steal his way. So lovely. Okay, well, we shall see how good the cards and me, and of course, my chatty chat spirit guides, because when I'm reading, guys, I, it's always one ear on the other side. That's why I kind of kind of appear a little spacey. So I got one ear over there, one ear over here. Uh, and they're always, you know, guiding me in the reading and in the interpretation. Okay, well, let's do one more little thing here. What would I like to, because I don't have no, I'll do another video with somebody else for the month. Let me see what else I want to ask tonight. Um, how are, like just right now, right in the moment, how are us American people, I'll include everybody, uh, not just those I judge as sweeter and nicer, <laughs> how are they feeling uh, about this new democratic candidate for the presidency. This new female woman of color, smart, funny, sharp woman. How, how's the temperature? How are we feeling as a country about this possibility? Somebody flipped upside down. Somebody did. Okay. Very interesting. Yeah, reading. Well, there's still, you know, some mixed feelings, but I thought this was going to come up because I almost asked just how are women feeling. But so we're looking at the energy right now and this energy of a new, um, you know, player on the field. 
a big overpowering energy currently, and it's related to her as well, is women feeling trapped. Eight of Swords. Um, tied up, imprisoned. Um, victimized. There's a lot of that energy. But, see this light in there? And so we're also thinking, women and men, but I would imagine women even more so, this might be the light. This might be the hope. Or this could be the one to help break us free from these ties that bind and bring down this Ten of Swords energy, you know, um, that's being aimed towards us. So, you know, kind of double it back on them. Because, you know, it's, it's men, mostly, and then some stupid women, I guess. Uh, but, so, we're hopeful that we can put the swords back where they came from. So they're thinking a lot about that, about being, about rights. You know, you might think of the swords as your rights. Uh, they're also thinking the country about Joe still you know we're asking right now in this energy King of Cups the water but they're thinking about his blessing you know that he's given his blessing To, um, you know, to his vice president. There's the Ace of Cups, too. So the King of Cups and the Ace of Cups, a new beginning. And actually the King passing the cup along. And it would be a rather new, interesting beginning. I love that these are all underwater with fish. Blue wave, blue wave, blue wave. So they're, you know, they're still thinking about all that. Now that's part of the country. There's another part that's still mad and bewitched. This is wands. It's like getting your magic wands crossed, and so your um, your the spells on you. I put a spell on you, so they're um, bewitched. Still believing in their fiery king. Um, And unable, really, when it comes to cups, they're like going, what's a cup? Cups? What's that got to do with anything? Well, you know, love, uh, love isn't a part of the plan. What are you talking about? I don't even, what cup? <laughs> so there is still that energy. That was on the bottom, though. Those were the last three, and then the top, the top ones were all those blue um, fighting cards. So that kind of gives us a little feeling of the temperature right now. Now, I think that's going to change every few days as we move along. Okay, well, that was pretty fun, huh? I'm going to do another one uh, in a few minutes. Uh, but I'm going to go ahead and, um, you know, start the uploading process of this one. And as always, I love you. And I will um, see you again.
real soon.